Trigger little tells you that the sky is falling. Tell me if you did, would you still come crawling back again? I know you were my friend again and again and again. I like that song because at the end, it, the whole every verse goes like, "There's something wrong with the world today." But then in the final verse, he goes, "There's something right in the world today," and you're like, "Oh shit!" It's characterization. For yeah, song there's been some progress that's happened over the last two and a half minutes. <laughs> but everybody knows what's wrong. And then at the end, but just before the, the verse, he goes like, da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da. He does do that, yeah. Oh, here we go. Unmutable Battlefield Hardline ad. This guy's like driving a motorcycle. It's badass as heck. Oh, shit, is that a zipline dog? Did you just hear my neck crack? Yeah, well, I heard the groan. That's real made. loud. I heard the groan that you made after it. The haha -ha groan hammer. I need to go close my window. <clears throat> yeah, you can do it for free. And Al, you have a good Bob Dylan impression? Thank you. Chad, did you see my sweet ass new Titan Soul shirt? <clears throat> Look at this. Look at this motherfucker. This, this Look how sweet that is. This guy's not disclosing anything. He's got a shirt for the game. It's not even out yet. I'm trying to show it, but like, can't get the camera far enough away. Doesn't really work. See that? Sweet ass shirt. It's filled with details. I'm pretty excited for that game. Me too. It comes out in a few weeks. I got to try that really, really early alpha that you sent me the other day. Uh, I really like the sword mechanic that you can oh, pull shitty it, pick it up again. Souls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... you mean to say this shirt isn't related to your game? No, that's uh, I. I renamed it to Shitty Action RPG to avoid giving the devs bad PR. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes sense. But I basically did steal the mechanic from Titan Souls. Oh, maybe they stole it from you. Give yourself more credit. No, I'm pretty confident they didn't. Mm. Do you know if the criminals escape with the loot, they win that round? If the cops stop them before they get away and protect the loot, they win that round? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I got that at PAX. Thank you again, Lada, for another dollar donation. It worked, smiley face. <clears throat> Trivet X. 21 months in a row. That's staggering. That's all the months, isn't it? Or is it 22? It might be 22 now, but it's. I'm not mad about it. <clears throat> I appreciate that a great deal. I am. All right. So, like, daily challenge then? <clears throat> well, you got to wait for the ads to be over. Oh, mine are done. I figured yours would be done. Weird. Oh, mine, yeah, just ticked over as you were saying that sentence. It's, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that this is the final couple of hours of uh, the Northern Lion Pocket Egg shirt. This is a great idea. Hey, let's oh, launch a shirt yeah. with Torque Contos. Thank you very much for the description. Don't ever interrupt me again. Um, right, let's launch a shirt when we're going to PAX and I'm moving and then I get sick and it's, oh, what a great time. Here's the Pocket Egg shirt. It's available for the next two hours, 59 minutes, and six seconds. So if you're watching the VOD, you fucked up. You missed it. You can go to twitch.tv slash Northern Lion and click the link to pick it up. If you're interested, it's $21.69 American. And uh, it's designed by Dracula Fetus, of course. Thank you for helping us reach our goal. Once it's gone, it's gone, and there will be another shirt probably in like three or four months. How about that? I'm with it. <clears throat> I've, made, I've made shitty Nuclear Throne and Adequate Pong in Game Maker. <laughs> Yo, dude, you've already graduated to the Adequates? I've made four shitties right now. I made shitty... Adequate Pong is great. I love that name. Shitty Space Invaders, Shitty Space <clears throat> Invaders 2, and then uh, shitty, shitty Snakes didn't work out, but I got it prototyped. The AI right. was the AI was fucked. Uh, shitty Space War was okay, and Shitty Action RPG is definitely the, my magnum opus so far. You should make like Shitty Calculator, right? So you can kind of work on your math skills and UI design. All right, don't make that then. So um, like, uh, you ready to start then? Or basically, I need like another second here. All right, I gave you a second, so I'm gonna go down the rope now. 
Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> Cyclops man, apparently. I'm gonna say this one more time, since the question's come up about a dozen times since I last addressed it. Uh, there will be Bloodborne, provided I can get my capture card to transmit the signal properly to my computer. Uh, which I will be working on as soon as the stream is over. I have to install some firmware and update some applications, and we'll oh, see. But I, I yeah. bought a new capture card just to stream Bloodborne for you guys. Look, Watch my Twitter. Look to know him. Thank you very much for the subscription, by the way. Yeah, I agree. Appreciate it. For everyone asking about my Bloodborne, don't hold your breath, but probably sometime this week. It's not going to be up tomorrow. You can't... Uh, if I sound like I'm, I'm tired of answering the question, it's because I am. But I'm not. You, uh, I'll answer for you. You can't, uh, you can't get the information out to everybody. I've tweeted about it multiple times. can't remember if I've talked about it in any YouTube videos. But yeah, there will be there will probably be Bloodborne. It'll be a little later. People are like, hey, you're missing your window, man. You think, you think I don't know that? I invented the fucking window. I closed it just now. Nick closed the window and opened like six doors. You can be salty, though, because it's like a good position to be in that people care. So I'm happy about it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I Can you say... believe I had 400 people watching me bullshit troubleshoot my Elgato for like three hours? It was unbelievable. It's an erosion of viewer goodwill in practice. I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> I gave away a bunch of games at the end because oh, I felt bad yeah. that people stayed. That's worth it, then. Gave away some some codes for Torabash. No. <laughs> some League of Legends oh my God. Uh, referrals. <laughs> no. I gave away a copy of uh, Bioshock 1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, that might be true. That was on sale, right? No, I just had an old code for some reason. That makes sense, too. It's a good game. I remember playing the demo of that back in like 2007, being like, oh, this is going to change the world. And it, I mean, it did, did right? Sort of did change the world of games, yeah. It's a very significant game from that era. Why? I don't know. Like, libertarian influence? Yeah, that's what I figured. There's other things. Did Found... you kindly tell me about them? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> like, found storytelling, though, I think sincerely, maybe. I think people just really like the uh, costume design on the Big Daddy mostly. Oh, yeah, that's that was true. Yeah. The majority of why people like that game. A little bit more of like a steampunky type uh, influence, I guess. It was the, the first big steampunk game that infiltrated the mainstream. Yeah, I think you're probably right about that. I think that was mostly why people like it. I don't know. Nick, on the second floor, did you see a... Did you see a... Oh, see a key? Oh, yeah. No, no key there. Hmm. You see one on the third floor? Oh, I've just started yeah. the third floor just now, so. Zesty Wargasm and Soda Bags. Thank you guys for the subscription. Soda Bags. I don't want to waste my keys about that. trying for it, but there was like a lot of that floor that I didn't really cover, you know? Like second... You're on three now, right? No, I haven't gone yet because I'm waiting to see if you see a key. You really think it's not going to be Yeah, it could conceivably be in the top right corner of two, man. Okay. Whatever. It could be on 4, too. I'm just going to go for it. Well, there's a spider universe on this level that I'm not a fan of. Where's this key at, though? You know, it's just... <laughs> I love Michael L. Fox's attitude about it. But you don't find it? He's just like, oh, we'll just, like, find the black market then. He, yeah, but he does it pretty reliably, doesn't he? No. He's done uh, it, like, twice and then assumes that he can do it at every opportunity. Aw. Naivete. Torcantos, thank you very much for your subscription. Greatly appreciate the patronage. Almost fell on some spikes. A little nerve wracking there. Still got it, baby. Hmm. I'm down to uh, two health because I am terrible. That's all right. I'm at three, so I'm, I understand. I did murder Don't. the shopkeeper, though. Don't anger the shopkeeper. This guy is uh, it's a loose cannon. Have you Where's this key? Yeah, have you looked? I mean, it's only floor three. You can still get it on floor four. It's got to be on four then, unless we missed it. 
because I don't see it on three at all, and I looked through the whole area. Did you, though? Uh, yeah. I, uh, maybe the bottom right I haven't seen all right. yet. Okay. I kind of zoomed around all over the place. The yeah, it's stuck in your head, right? Yeah. It's, it's stuck in my head. That's to the um, tune of living on the edge there. I'm not going to be able to see the bottom right corner, unfortunately. They're not going to murder that uh, vault There's man. a vault guy in there. Vault man, sneaky and mean. All right. Spider inside my dreams, I think I love you. Oh, found the key. That was oh, easy. It was on the fourth floor. It was literally right next to the start of fourth floor. No work involved either. How about, like, maybe open the door, get on the floor? Everybody walk the dinosaur. Yeah. You can walk like a dinosaur, you can walk like an Egyptian. Yeah. Can you just walk like a normal fucking human being? There's not much of a song about that, though. Who cares? What did I do with the key? Take it to the chest. Oh, they're freaking almost just got a hit <laughs> with a boulder. That was good moves. Smooth moves, WarioWare. Is it X-Lax? Playing a little fast and loose with this key right now. Shit. I agree. Kind of bunged up my ghost situation here. I think I might have just. I think maybe I just destroyed the chest. Is that, yeah. is that what I did? Did I really do that? I'm sure chat will let me know if I did that. Oh. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm sorry about that. I fucked up the vault keeper, but I think I'm gonna die. Had to go. Chest? Where are you, chest? Please still be here. There's a crate. Crates are great. How would one, per se, blow up the chest? Oh my god, I really did it. How'd you blow up the chest? Nick? I didn't blow it up, I rolled it over with a freaking boulder. You got the... You got the I idol? I whipped a little too close near the idol, and it, it freaking hit it and set everything off. You sure? It's... there's no chest. I looked through the whole floor. I am Egyptian, and that was BM. <laughs> yeah, the chest was like... You you would have seen it <laughs> if you had... Yeah, the whole middle of the level got run over, so... I'm feeling it was in like the middle, you, I presume. You probably did not just forget to look. It was in the middle somewhere? Yeah, it was like... It was pretty obvious. Oh, I'm, mm, I'm straight up dead, yeah. This right. is what happens when you don't play a lot of Spelunky. You're <clears> real <throat> rusty. That was really bad. Just find the black market, I will. That's all I have left to do. I've got seven bombs, so the chances are pretty high that I'll find it. If I die in Spelunky one more time after this, I'm gonna play Nuclear Throne instead. Oh, you actually died. No, I was I was cracking a joke. When I said I literally died there, um, what I meant was I figuratively died. I thought you meant you figuratively, figuratively died. All right, well, I'll find the black market. I'll let you know where it was. That'll be relevant information. As a matter of vengeance. I don't know uh, how I... I had two HP. I don't know how I took two damage, though. Yeah, what's up with that? I must have been, like, maybe hit by a shopkeeper on the way down or something. Hit by a train. I don't think I was hit by a train. A cold train, baby. Woo! Specifically. See what's in this crate. Maybe it's got like 50 bombs in it. I remember when I had 50 bombs. Murder the shopkeepers. Those were the days. That's bullshit. No one should do that. Makes the game too hard. I got some ropes. I like how NL doesn't read the chat, so he actually plays the game on, like, most casters. That's one of those weird compliments that actually, wow. like, I take issue with. That's a weird one. I do read the chat all the time. I don't, uh, 
What I don't is it's not a slight at other streamers, but if I'm if I'm in a game and I'm having a conversation, I don't want to interrupt it every two seconds and be like, "Yeah, you're right." Username. Joe Lieberman is a funny name, you know. Like, gotta keep my own conversational muscles sharp. Uh, keep throwing those non sequiturs out from the top of the dome piece. It gives you a competitive advantage in the industry. See, I'm kind of a scum, so I do it a lot of the time. But that's like because I can't really stop myself anymore because my my stream is incredibly chat interaction heavy. Yeah. It's almost exclusively that. So I don't know. I guess we kind of found a weird equilibrium between the two of us. During the substream, I'm exactly like that as well. Like if I'm solo on the substream. Right. Totally, yeah. That's your other person to talk to, basically. Exactly. You got like, you know, five thousand co hosts. That must be awesome. Not in Counter Strike. <laughs> About twenty five hundred of them are awesome. I, I could take or leave some of the other ones. I'm happy for all the support, though. I know I need to change my default crosshair, though. We've been over it. Do you have the Predator one with the three dots? Because that's sweet as hell. Uh, what the fudge happened there? It looks like a triangle, basically. I'm aware of the three dot crosshair, Nick. It's a really good one. Oh, I'm, I'm fucked. You could shoot people way better with that one. Go to hell, powers. Nick doesn't read chat. And Al, how bad are you? How bad are you at Pillars of Eternity? I'm so bad at Pillars of Eternity that I didn't even do a Let's Look at. Wow, that's so bad. You know, I was liking the game a lot, um, and it, it's not self-deprecating actually. Like, I was just like, who needs to see me play Pillars of Eternity? If you're a, a, a fan of the genre, oh, that was just terrible. I'm gonna do one more of that Nuclear Throne. Um, if, uh, if you're a fan of the genre, you might want to see my opinion, but really you want to see the opinion, I think, of somebody who's played Infinity Engine games in the past and knows what they're like. Um, and if you're not a fan of the genre, maybe you don't have to buy in on day one. But uh, Where are they going to get that opinion, though? I don't know. Is, it, it, is there a shortage of people who don't know what they're talking about giving their opinions on video <laughs> games on the internet? Did I wake up in an alternate universe? Oh, yeah. Hachi Pachi, thank you very much for the subscription. Yeah. Wait a minute, you can blow up the damn crown too? I've blown up all the things of value in this level. I think Pillars of Eternity is a really good game that I really wish... I, it makes me wish that I had played Divinity... Uh, so that I could expedite this being shitty at the game process and I could actually be better at it and not lose so hard even on easy mode. We had so many opportunities to be on Divinity. Yeah, man. I was actually annoyed with how many opportunities I was given to play that game. Oh, stop giving me press access to what's yeah. going to be the game of the year for a lot of people. Yeah, it's my bad. I fucked up. I did play Dragon Age Inquisition. I like Dragon Age Inquisition a lot. You know, in a lot of ways, Pillars of Eternity reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition, except it's less accessible for a new player, which probably means that it has more strategic oh, depth for yeah. an advanced player. Like, you really have to... Uh, Jork Jump Skull, thanks for the subscription, by the way. You really have to micromanage your party members. Like, every... Oh, oh Jesus, how did he get out? <laughs> I got the it. The Vault Guy? Yeah. Well, not uh, the Shop Man. They're related, though. Um... <laughs> You uh, you really have to micromanage your party like every every two or three seconds. You got to make sure they're constantly attacking because they they can get interrupted and then they'll stop attacking. And you got to make sure that you uh, you know set their skills appropriately and the, their skills aren't friendly firing the units around them. Whereas in Dragon Age, I pretty much just played in the character action camera all the time and never really used the tactics mode because it was kind of cumbersome. Anyway. That's Get the of bees. Eternity. Pillars of Eternity has some really cool dialogue stuff and some really cool uh, RPG elements that seem to run deep and be very classic. It's a little intimidating for someone who's never played really the genre before. Like the only Baldur's Gate I've played is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, which is a sweet game, but it's not um, it's not really in the same vein, you know. Gotcha. I'm with it. I'm hip. I'm down. I'm jiggy. Where's the key, Chad? I've forgotten the key. Is there actually a real debate happening about whether or not I actually read chat? <laughs> yeah. I can't, I don't abide that one. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. There's the exit. 
I didn't find the black market, by the way, in case you're wondering. Ah, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Ah, oh, it's no big deal. Played this game a couple of times. I've seen what's in there anyway. It's not that big of a surprise these days. It's mostly this Ankh thing that I was after. Forgot why. I know there's an altar, but and I know there's a vault, but we're running out of time here, so oh. I'm gonna. Oh, that's possibly death. Nope. Okay, I'm still alive. Guess I just forfeited my shotgun there like a dingo. <clears throat> oh, there's a freaking uh, coffin here. Hello, pirate lady. Thank you for your sacrifice and welcome to the Spelunky uh, save file. Pirate yeah. lady's alright. Yeah, I'm playing as her right now. She's actually one of the best characters. She's got the highest uh, grip stat. It was her grip and also I think her ropes go an extra tile, which is pretty handy. Yeah, it's very helpful. You never know when you're going to need it. It's one of those things you don't think about it until all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, I'm glad I had that. She starts with the lowest HP, though. Right, but, you know, I think it's a small price to pay for a, a thing that could come in handy well, all the time. Well, that's the thing about Spelunky, right? Like, if you're good, you don't even need the HP. Exactly. In fact, having lower HP might make you better at the game because it kind of puts the pressure on to perform. Yeah. I think there's something to be said for that on a psychological level. Man, shotgun really makes the game easy mode. Yeah, that's why I usually play as characters that can't hold it. Yeah. Like the one-armed characters. This is a little bit more exciting. I don't know what I'm laughing about. It's a pretty serious thing you just said. Nah, I'm gonna make a prototype tonight. Shitty Spelunky. I would play that. Look at the graphics in this game. How long could it take to program? Probably maybe six hours? Yeah, it's a couple of days, I think, at most. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm dead now. Aw, oh, man. 19 minutes. What was your score at, though? Uh, 112,000. Ah, that was good. Definitely beat Rank me. Rank 5. Yeah. <laughs> when that used to mean something. Uh, who's above me? Oh, now I'm ranked 6. 6 by the time I looked at it. Arrow Dusk, Eerie Echo, Taiga Cat, Grandmaster of T, Reign Supreme. You've bested me. Taiga Cat sounds very familiar. Yeah, what was I really thinking there with that jump? I was trying to grab that ledge, and I just kind of like missed it. And I thought, well, if I miss the ledge, then I'll land on the, the you know sticky ball. But I missed that too, so then I just fell into the abyss. Oh man. <laughs> It's a sad way to go. If you had unlimited time and money, how would you achieve infinite happiness? Thank you, Anonymous, for the $1.69 donation, by the way. I read the message first this time. Infinite time and money. I think I had to think about an ice cream room, right? Should do. Divide infinite time and money. As far as I'm concerned, I'm already 99% of the way there. Then you just kind of, like, kick back and go into the abyss. You just do whatever the fuck you want to do. But then there's the whole, like, immortality thing, and, like, do you really want to outlive everyone you care about? And... That's, like, the ultimate first world problem. Oh, living forever is real sad. It's, like, negative one world problem. Zeroth world problem? Yeah, it's, it's in there somewhere. Oh, my life force literally can't be extinguished from the Earth. <laughs> It's Would hard. you then want to just, like, fight everybody to see if you could be the strongest? No, that's like a post-apocalyptic scenario. If you could live forever, why would you fight, man? There's no there's no competition for resources. I guess it's like an ego thing at that point. I was just trying to figure out how Dragon Ball Z got started. I gotta focus for a second here. Oh, there it is, right there. That was fast. You should focus on the family. Is that like a U.S. politician's, uh... <laughs> Slogan or something? It's, uh, it's like a Christian organization. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't necessarily mean anything by that. Yep. <laughs> Just acknowledging it. Yep. You would need two ice cream rooms. Mr. Snuffles shouldn't have people ice cream. It might hurt his tummy. That's a good point. I like that. 
But you didn't say Mr. Snuffles gets to live forever, so I'd be worried about his diet if he's eating that much ice cream. He can live forever. Oh, alright, then it's all good. Can you imagine that? The only thing they found on Earth that's immortal is just this one cat. Like Who would James, be up with that? James Cameron movie waiting to happen. <laughs> I don't think so. Call it Ailey Three Ins. How does, like, the cat thing work into that? It's just a cat. There's nothing more complicated than that. <laughs> I really like that. Cats are very complicated, yeah. It's just a cat. There's nothing more complicated than a cat. I'm wearing Beats by Dwight. They're delicious. <laughs> I really like that comment. Beats by Dwight? Yeah, like B-E-E-T-S. Oh. Who's Dwight? Dwight from The Office? Oh. You enjoy reading NTR. What's that? No Tomatoes, Ryan. Yeah, then I absolutely I do. It's my culinary magazine. <clears throat> when are you going to start that cooking show you've been talking about? I'm never talking about it. I think you're talking about it and then... <laughs> you know, acting as if I am paying attention. <laughs> Alright. Probably won't do that then. Probably never, yeah. I died. <laughs> Seen a cat dressed as a xenomorph is a strange combination of adorable and creepy. Yeah, that sounds that way. You can play Nuclear Throne if you want to, Nick. No, I think I need to beat Spelunky, maybe. I used to be okay at this game. Not good, just okay. You never beat Spelunky, you just stop playing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get all the achievements, that's kind of something like beating it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. It's like something. intellectual masturbation. Exactly, yeah, precisely. I'm just gonna pronounce things wrong just to fuck with people now. Alright. Is NTR a manga? I don't know. Is it a manga? I don't know what NTR is. I think it's a manga. Just say you love NTR. Now I'm definitely not gonna love it. Actually, I have an ex-girlfriend who legitimately pronounced anime as anime. Oh, uh, that's just incorrect. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I wasn't mad about it, but I was like, Amy, what are you talking? You talking about like amino acids or something like that? It really does sound like a biology term. Yeah, and she's like, you know, like Japanese cartoons. I'm like, oh, anime. All right, it's pretty wild. I don't think I would do that. Yeah, what would you do instead? Just let it happen? No, I mean, like, I don't think I'd ever pronounce it that way. Oh yeah, you'd be surprised what what you'll do. When the time comes. I mean, if somebody had a gun to my head, I would, but probably only then. No! What did your Yeti do? Spelunky's last IOU. He's just a little bitty Cyclops. You threw him in the damn abyss. He had the arc in the machete, but you motherfucking yet he had to end his game yet again. Yet he's got a dude. Yet he's got a dude. What did that yet he do? Spelunky's last eye on you. All right, for the sake of the animation, I just wanted to make sure I didn't interrupt you there, so... That was a good one. Thank you. Fucking just... I'm just gonna hurt myself and sacrifice myself onto the fucking spike ball or under the fucking thing here. I don't care. <sighs> NTR is creepy, not as creepy as crotch tits. What is happening right now? I'm disappointed in this run. They even gave me the Clinton Sax music and I can't get down with it. 
I can. You must be it. sicker than you thought. I can still get down with it. I'm not gonna lie. Your loving gets me high. Keep you by my side. There's nothing that I won't try. Do you love Fudinari? Just say you don't. No one does. I've been asked that one before, and I know what that actually is. I don't know what NTR is though. NTR is a radio station. See what you did there is you changed one of the letters. See, I can do it to you too. Yeah, I was thinking of PBS. I changed three of the letters. Apparently, NTR is hentai of cuckolding. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very specific. I'm just gonna speed run the rest of the game. Play some nuclear throne. Yeah, I mean you could do that. Oh, this music's pretty sweet too. You don't hear this every day. Did you get ape it? No, it's like bow down 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 bow. It's like a lilting kind of like theme. You just like heard new music we've never heard before? I've heard it before. It's just rare. It's weird that there's just rare music in this game. It's pretty cool, you know. That's how procedural this game is. It's just rare music. Yeah. I've heard that rare music is so dead so uh, dangerous that parents have started buying their kids rare blades. Rare blades. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to go for a Killer Cuts reference there, but... I don't even know, know what that is. The only killer I know is Killer Croc. It's a reference back to the old, uh, what, like 1994 SNES Killer Instinct tracks uh, CD album that came with the game. Yeah? Was Glacius on it? Glacius. We don't call him Glacius anymore. I got telefragged. All right, here we go. It's uh, it's nuclear throne time. Is it getting hot in here? Or is it just me? It is. I shouldn't have closed the window. It's hot in here, man. What time is this? Five twenty-nine. Yeah, I can have another dose of Dayquil. What's weird is it was very warm today, and yet it was like freezing rain at the same time. I don't really understand how that works. Sorry, it was warm but freezing rain? Warm and freezing rain at the same time. It was like verging on hail, but not quite. It was just freezing rain. You know, logic would dictate that that's not possible. Yep. It's got to be a lot colder uh, up in the atmosphere, I would figure. I think you might be right about that. So probably like the, the rain has started up there. You ever, like, sometimes they'll be in a plane, and they have, like, the map, and the map will also show you, like, the outside temperature, and yep. you're like, whoa, shit, it's, like, negative 50 Celsius out here. If I was out in the air right now, I'd be pretty fucked, and you realize, well, you probably have, like, bigger concerns than the temperature immediately, if I had to guess. Well, like, people skydive all the time, right? They don't skydive from 35,000 feet, though. Maybe they should. I actually saw a dude do that, for real. He was in, like, a space suit. Oh. Was he? I didn't remember what he was wearing. Here we go. That was a really cool video. Freaking watching a dude fall out of the atmosphere. How come he didn't light on fire? <laughs> he wasn't falling. He didn't re-enter the atmosphere. It oh. was space around him when he fell. There was sort of space around him. There was enough space that he should have lit on fire, oh, I, I think. should do the daily. I'll do the daily next. Yeah, okay. Robot man. He turns... Yeah, why didn't he light on fire? Nick. We don't need to talk about scat porn, probably. Don't forget who brought up the NTR. I didn't even know what it was. That's why you should be careful, man. That was Felix Baumgartner. YouTube.com slash PewDiePie. The joke there is they have the same first same name. first name, yeah. yeah. I got that one. I'm so Felix. You already, you already know. know. 33 million sub subscribers. And a million more to go. And a million more to go. Let's get drunk on the mega bar. <laughs> so you can afford it. Yeah. What makes the mega bar so mega? It's big. There's a million of them. Do you think there's like a a dude at the mega bar and you you call him a buster because he's a scrub, and then he'd be a mega buster? I was a 
It's a bit huge, of a reach for that one. Huge reach on that joke. I had to explain several things. Got a longer reach than fucking Floyd Mayweather Jr. Oh, longer reach than the fucking arm monsters from Dark Souls 2. You got a longer reach than the Canada arm. I don't know what that is. You don't know like, what the fucking Canada arm is? You guys have no respect for our contributions to your space program? Canada arm. It's on our fucking money from time to time. I know you have like glow in the dark dinosaurs. I'm not sure what a Canada arm is. Wow, that's embarrassing. You should you should be embarrassed. I am. Kind of. Not really. Do Americans really not know what the Canada arm is? I is, actually don't know what it has is. Has Canadian right? propaganda been lying to us for years? I, not only do I not know what it is, I don't even feel like I'm supposed to know what it is. It's not a secret. Oh. Feels like a secret to me. What did I leave up there that I wanted? It's the fucking Canada arm. Don't tell me it's not called the Canada arm. What is a Canada arm? It's a, like a space module for the ISS. Goes out and grabs shit from space and then pulls it back into the station. In school suspension. No, that's. Oh, that's just ignorant. If you think ISF stands for in school <laughs> suspension, maybe when you're it ten. It did. Yeah, when you're ten. Was when it I was in, ten. every day is in, in school suspension? I thought out of school suspension was just strange punishment. All right, Jerry Seinfeld. It's like you don't want to go to school, right? Mostly. And if you're pissed at school, like, the best punishment you can get is don't go to school. Well, it's actually, like, the greatest punishment, though, because it actually inhibits your ability to get ahead in life. Right, but as a kid, you don't really see that. Yeah, I thought he was saying candy arm also for a while, but I guess he wasn't. I'm saying Canada arm. Canada arm is what Canada uses to give hand jobs. Oh. Like, space hand jobs. Y'all are ignorant. Say it like Michael Jackson. Yeah, ignorant. That's the best I could do. <laughs> it's good enough. Hey, man. Courts found him innocent twice, you know? Who am I to argue with due process? I'm not saying anything about his guilt or in innocence. I just thought it was funny he said that word a lot. I mean, he said it on South Park. I don't know how much he said it in real life. He said it on South Park a lot, which is basically him. Let me get Trey on the phone and see me. See what's up with that. I think they would agree with me. If I'm, they say something on South Park, it's probably because they say it in real I am life. I'm balling out of control on Nuclear Throne right now. You can't see Laser stop. pistols? Nah, man. Shovel. Ooh. Are you a knight or something? A shovel and larger range. You're a finished shovel knight? Yeah, man. Are you gonna play the DLC? Probably not. So not you play as a totally different knight. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, it's not because I, uh, I don't like Shovel Knight. It's just hard to, I've gone on record, you know, many times. It's kind of hard to get me to go back to a game after I've finished it. You know? Right, like Isaac, for example. It's a little different. I've never finished Isaac. Oh, you finished it hundreds of times, actually. I'm keeping myself buffed up for when the uh, expansion comes out. Isaac is basically a MOBA. you got to keep your skills sharp. I think the expansion pack's just a myth. I don't think so. They're, you know, I'm not gonna call the oh, hard work of like dozens bad of people. Bad fucking anymore. jump! I just jumped straight on some spikes. Yeah, you can play some Nuclear Throne if you're interested. No, it's a pretty good game. Oh god damn it! I can't play Spelunky anymore. Oh shit! I'm dead. Yeah. Alright, this is a great donation. I think you'll like this one. Thank you, Panicky Puppy, for a $20 donation. This $20 is to buy a fucking science book, man. Learn some space shit, son. <laughs> I like that. I like that, too. Alright, let's do Crystal Daily Challenge Run. I'm ready. That's a good choice for character, by the way. I really like Crystal. And his catacombs. How's Catacomb Kids going for you, Nick? Uh, I just had a little bit of a gestalt the other day. I got to a new level that no one's ever seen before. Pretty sure no one's ever seen it in in the world. So, that's cool. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. It's pretty sweet. I hope you can get to that level one day. Yeah. But I doubt it, because it's very far away from the beginning of the game. <laughs> if we keep playing it for, uh, you know, 40 minutes once a week, I, I don't see how I can't become the best player in the world. I hope you do. 
Need some competition here on the top. Sleep I make it sound like I'm good at the game. I'm still dying like every 10 seconds, so. I think Sleep Cycles is playing. Oh, yeah? You can go uh, mano y mano with him. We could uh, exchange tips. Yeah. Or touch them or whatever we do these days. That's up to you. I'm not going to butt in there. All right. I'm going to try this game, The Binding of Isaac. Oh, see nice. See what this is all about. It looks really bad. Did you play Discourse yet, Nick? No, you only just sent it to me right before the stream. Bear played it. Wow. Why can't you be more like Bear? I wish I could be more like Bear. That guy's awesome. He doesn't spend his time making excuses. He just makes uh, plays games instead. I wish I could play games like Bear. I'm looking forward to playing. I think it might be a nice little uh, nice little thing to do after the stream when I'm sick. Just sit down and play some Discord. Choose your own adventure. It's like a choose your own adventure. I remember in the Kickstarter, they actually... Um, they reached a stretch goal that let them put like indie devs in the game. So there's like Edmund McMillan character and like uh, that, like Jonathan Blow character or something like that. I don't know anything about the game. It's such like a bullshit marketing tactic, but I'm like, oh, I'm interested. If I can play as Edmund McMillan, a dude who hates every aspect of celebrity culture, I'm in. That sounds good. Sounds interesting. Man. Sleep cycles. I don't know. You're not. I, I don't think you're in chat, but would you? Shit your pants if I came first on this daily challenge? Would you just be like the maddest dude ever? Would you just shit your pants just so Northern Lion would stop asking you to shit your pants? <laughs> if I shit, if I shit in your pants, would you laugh and never look back? That's, How did um, you play this game? This game's so bad. You playing like vanilla? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yeah, going back to Vanilla Isaac is a weird exercise. <laughs> I'm trying to play on keyboard also, which is why I just dropped that weird random bomb, because I don't know what the buttons even are. <laughs> the worst kind of person. I should probably get my joy to key open so I can at least have a chance. Oh my god, the frame rate's awful. Yeah, yeah, it is really bad. Fuck this. It's... That's when people are like, I don't know, I don't think Rebirth is that much better than the original. I'm like, you should go back and play the original for like 10 minutes. So bad. As long as you can. Like, the original was great. It's just a testament to how good Rebirth is that it's now unplayable. <laughs> I mean, I'm, like, mostly kidding, but kind of not a little too. Yeah, like, it's not actually a bad game, but you're like, why would I play this? It's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, I've died to the first boss. Uh, I'm going to need my Joy to Key for this. Do I even have Joy to Key anymore? I never install this. Really? I've got to have it somewhere. Oh shit, you guys... I can never keep straight whether explosive weapons are good or bad. I guess some of them are good, some of them are bad. But people kept telling me, like, Toxic Bow was bad, and I had a crazy good run with it. On my own. Oh, uh, here we go. I was slow playing like crazy, though. It was like fucking John Malkovich and Rounders. I love that movie. Do you? I really want to watch it again, actually. It's okay. I'm not a fan of John Malkovich in particular. Really? I, I don't dislike him, but it's not like I go to that movie so I can watch him. He's pretty bad in Rounders. Like, I don't know, why Why didn't they just hire a dude who's actually Russian? Because, like, John Malkovich sounds fucking terrible in that movie. I like John Malkovich a lot, but his, his Russian accent is just awful. Oh, they had spirit hearts back in the day. All right, cool. He bit me straight up. <laughs> Pay that man his money. And they're like, come on, John Malkovich. You're like, you're like King Lear, man. <laughs> Respect your elders. Respect yourself. All right, what button did I make spacebar? Ah, oh, there we go. Forever alone. Thank you, Monkey Cowman, for the $2 donation, by the way. Uh, have some money for Wrath of the Lamb luck. Also, keep up the good work. Thank you. It's Pretty all, sure I'm not going to win a run of this. It's all gone fucking Pete Tong now. I don't know what that means. Sounds really bad, though. Ooh. Play some worms? You want me to play worms by myself? Clutch medkit. Oh, gluttony. This could give me the bucket of lard. I feel very strong as Isaac, honestly. I'm, like, wrecking everybody. Yeah? Uh, no bucket alert. I feel like Isaac kind of got a little bit of a damage nerf. Is 
possible. You might be right. Or maybe everything was just weaker then. I don't know. I think Rebirth as a whole has gotten easier, though. Yeah, I agree. I wasn't banging out, like, uh, 10 win streaks consistently in vanilla. Well, you should have been. You probably better. should have been. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks a lot. This guy got the police on me. Oh, shit. Where's Mathis Games when you need him? He loves that band. Oh, shit. He loves the police. That's his favorite <laughs> band ever. It cannot give you lard? Really? Gluttony doesn't give you lard? I was pretty sure it didn't. Oh my god, this is just fucking silly now. Look at Tainted What Rock. is... What is happening over here? Oh good, the boss is here now apparently as well. I can't wait for people to complain that my frame rate's choppy, like, in the stream, but it's actually just the game. Yeah, I I'm gonna laugh when that happens. Big dog fuck! Big dog fuck! Ah, that was hard, man. That Getting trapped in that corner was not a good decision. Big dog fuck. Oh, I can just do the daily again? Yeah, you can do it as many times as you want. I don't think that's true. It's just a test of your endurance. Only super gluttony can give you lard. Oh. Hey, learn new things about Vanilla Isaac every day. It was a pretty good run. I was feeling good about it. Let's try this again. I got high hopes. Do you ever think when they say get off your high horse, maybe they mean like not that the horse is physically tall, but maybe the horse has been imbibing some kind of drugs? That's just like good advice then, isn't it? Yeah, because maybe it's going to crash into a ravine and break all its legs. Yeah. You don't want to be there for that. That's like drunk driving and the car is drunk. <laughs> Put a little bit of like ethanol in the gas tank. Yeah. Something. Um, brass knuckles. Do I want tooth shot? Yeah, man. All right, let's take two shots. Especially if you can get some luck upgrades with it. Your frame rate is too smooth. Don't you know the human eye can only see 24 FPS? I did know that, actually. That's why they film movies in it. Why do they uh, keep making movies for the human eye, though? That's my question. I agree. They should start making movies for, like, I have Newt. Yeah, that's my philosophy. Huh? Pretty much verbatim. Well, you don't know, like, the full nature of the human experience until you can see outside of it is really the, the main principle. It's a Steve-O quote, I think, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I love that guy. He really knows how to live. Yeah. And die. He knows how to stay alive, at least. You gotta give him that. <laughs> Alright, I like the pack. That's a pretty good item. Probably gonna use that more. Steven. Not Steve O. I'm fighting Steve O right now. This guy's pretty easy. Man, don't let him hear you say that. Oh, it's because I just got the pack, probably. Most hit bullets become ammo, yes. Nick, chat is um, they're letting me know right now that apparently 24 FPS is not the highest that the human eye can actually see. Oh, really? What is it then? I don't know, man. It's a revelation to me as well. That's weird. I'm surprised. Um, I got the little Steven man as my my prize. Do I reroll that? Little Steven's That's not weird. that good. But... I forgot which one was the damage upgrade, but it's too late. I took it anyway. Uh, let's reroll the two heart bonus here out of nine lives, because that item sucks. Did you reroll nine lives? Yeah, I just did. You know what I got? Fucking Spirit of the Night. Nine lives is way better than Spirit of the Night. Nope. Can you shoot through shit? When you're ready, you won't have to. I also just got a ton of money for having picked that up. Money's pretty much meaningless. Sorry I dropped a bomb. Didn't mean to do that. 
I also keep hitting select thinking that's gonna bring up my map. What is the map, Pete? There isn't one? Oh yeah! <laughs> you just look at it, it's just there. Forgot about that. I'm not grounded, chat. You can't ground me. I can take Spirit of the Night if I want to. I can leave nine lives behind. Dude, nine lives is like really good. You're obsessed with that item. I'm not. I'm obsessed with your obsession of the item. You hate it so much, it's all you ever think about. Oh, wow. This is like a tooth-based run. I just got Monstro's tooth here. That's way better than nine lives. It has nothing to do with it. It's in the next floor. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, that's true. I need a medkit. You know, you need a med kit. Oh, oh yeah. what a subscriber, we're still streaming. Some army guy, 95, up <laughs> down to the side, welcome to the lion pride. You got me killed, man, thanks a lot. But no, really, I appreciate that. Can't ground me, Zimmer. I'm so, why am I bad at this game now? I don't know, you were super hyped the other day. I think you're just like sick now, so. Yeah, adrenaline might have worn off. I can't believe your comment about the frame rate has set off a discussion about it in chat. I'm a little surprised that people don't get that one, because that's like a really easy one to get. Nick was being facetious. I mean, if you've ever listened to me talk, like 89% of the things I say are, are that way. Hmm. I think I might need to get Last Wish, but it's embarrassing. Let's take Second Stomach instead. What does Rabbit's Paw do? It's a good one, man. I forget, though. Oh, I'm dead see. already. Oh, my God. You don't need to apologize some Army Guy 95. I was being a little bit of an asshole. All right, this is the win right here. I'm Bellsprout. What's a Pokemon? How'd you get in there? Did you know that Bellsprout is actually the 69th Pokemon? I think I did know that, actually, yeah. And it looks the most like a Pokemon that would be good at giving a blowjob. <laughs> don't deny it. But not receiving one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't think it would do much to do with receiving one at all. Last wish. Last wish. <laughs> all right, Bloodlust, let's do this. Oh, I should have rerolled the item room. I'm not wasting rerolls. You probably are. I'm not trying to take anybody's side, I'm just saying. Fuck! You did, did reroll nine lives, so there's one waste right there. Died already. Yeah? How many times are you gonna come back? None. Mm, that seems suboptimal. PhD. Rerolled it into Brother Bobby. Big improvement. You rerolled PhD? <laughs> He's getting it now. This guy. When will he catch on? Joke's Thank on God for Spirit of the pretending. Night, yeah. Actually, if I would have taken nine lives, I probably still would have been alive, so the Spirit of the Night call was probably not the best. Oh, Big Daddy stuck. Not grounded for a week, you can't tell me. You have a bad ass, man. You got a tube problem. You think you got a tood solution, but it's it's really a tood problem. I'm not high on my own farts. I think you might actually be high on the flatulus that comes out of your own rectum. Flatulus. It's actually just called flatus, believe it or not. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Lattice Maximus. All right, reroll Pageant Boy. That's at least a good move. Yeah, there you go. You got one. And now, please do a series. I want to see you play Nuclear Throne. Uh, less shitty and less salty and not sick. All right, right, I'm. I've been considering it. Like, I actually... It's been on the back of my mind for, like, a year and a half. It was like, I should go back to my Nuclear Throne series once, once that game's a little bit further along because it's a ton of fun. And... I'm, I'm feeling the, the drive right now. Um, it's possible that it might make an appearance. I've been cognizant of the fact that since moving, like, the videos are 
Rebirth Cities, Rebirth and Cities, Rebirth and Cities, Rebirth and Cities. So um, I'm looking to add some more variety, and this would be an awesome and also easy way to do so with a game that I enjoy. Did you do a series on this shit that I'm playing right now? Yeah. Kind of blows me away that I still have more time in, Re or in uh, Vanilla than I do in Rebirth. I mean, I did play it for years, but when I look at it, I'm like, how did I spend so much time in this? Like, really, Rebirth has gotten... It's really good. I'm starting to not see the shittiness anymore. I think my hands are just take, taking over again, so I think it only takes, you know, an hour or less. Yeah. Fall back into the patterns. Mm, yeah, I've got to make more Darkest Dungeon, too. That's true. Am I still alive in that? Yeah, you kind of suck now, though. Oh. Ah, well. I gave it a shot. Am I, I better than Mathis still? No, Mathis is like a serious oh. like, go-to DPS character. Um, that used to be my role. Yeah, but now you miss all the time. Oh, Mathis used to miss all the time. He still misses. All right, good. But he does damage when he hits. You're How like. Are you you're... still playing that either? Like, didn't you finish it? Already? Nah, because it's been it's been a busy time between travel and moving. Oh. I just didn't think there was that much content to see. There's a lot of content in that game, man. Oh. What do I know? Yeah. D20. This item sucks. You can play it and see how much content there is. D20 is right. like real good, also. Virus took that instead. Uh, batteries don't exist in this game, right? Correct. Yeah, alright. I was hoping maybe I'd get another reroll, but no batteries, so. Thanks, Edmund. Yeah, but the D6 charge is like twice as fast. Uh oh. Wait, wasn't Florian gonna patch this more? Yeah, there's DLC coming out, man. Nice. That's really weird. <laughs> I think there's been some people playing it already. It is. It's. Can get on strange. there? I don't know. You, why don't you take some initiative and get on there? I was just sort of thinking out loud. Maybe I'd like to. Then do so. I, I, I don't know what you want me to do, man. I don't want you to do anything. You're presenting a series of hypothetical questions. You have the tools necessary to solve them yourself. I know. It's going to be okay. Katana probably beats Wrench. Yeah, I think so. There isn't that much content in Darkest Dungeon, Egg is just bad. It's an early access game, and I have like 38 hours in it on Steam. That's a lot of content. Seems like a substantial amount of content. It's like as close to objectively a lot of content as you can get. Blow up rocks for black hearts and black market. Okay. I only have one bomb, though. Oh, here we go. Rhino skin. Whew. I'm on a mission to reroll most of my items into shit. <laughs> is that from chat or is that you saying? Yeah, that's chat. Because I, I actually thought that was kind of like what you were doing. And I don't even mean that facetiously. The PhD one was probably questionable, but I just didn't really feel like dealing with pills, so... What do you mean? You're still going to have to deal with pills. They're just going to be bad now. I just thought maybe I'd get Pentagram and then everything would be awesome. Is there like a golden Rattata back here? Golden frittata. Oh, thank God. Like a Nelly on. frittata. Thank God, I turned on slow motion. Oh my God, get the fudge out of my butt! There's fudge in there? There's too many people. Oh, I deserve to be dead. That was terrible. How'd you get the fudge up there? I don't even want you. You're fired. <laughs> Chad, put F if you want me to fire Nick. Oh, you know they're gonna say it. I'm using your own tactic against you, mate. All right, put T-Tours if you want me to stay. All right, here we go. It's F versus T-Tours. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. You gotta poop the fudge out. That's how you get it out. Oh, I touched myself. Uh, just subscribe to you. Did you know that? 
was a resub. Thank you very much. I touched myself. I appreciate it. Seven months in a row. Congratulations. All right, you can't put both. That's not fair. This is a this is an important vote for the future of the show. I actually think I'm winning. Oddly know. enough, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think you might have like a you know Dewey beats Truman situation going on here. Can you imagine if you just straight up straw pulled whether or not I get to stay on the show? <laughs> He's so fucked I'm up. I'm imagining it right now. Getting, uh, I know you are. Getting a little bit of an erection as a result of that oh, imagination. Oh, great. That shouldn't arouse you. Alright, there's a lot of T2ers coming in in the end. I guess you can stay. Thanks. <laughs> that was a lot of Fs. There were yeah, a lot of Fs as well, yeah. But, you know, it's like, closer than I expected it to be. I figured it would be mostly Fs. The red states, you know, when we counted them at the end, you, uh came through in the clutch just get mouth this is the worst episode for you to have that hyper hypothetical because the comments are just gonna all say to kick me off the show <laughs> probably <laughs> i'm gonna read them and it'll be sad don't that's your mistake man i can't stop myself quad shot i like this you, item you should stop yourself i really can Read the comments on the Armello episode. People are pissed, man. Oh, I was all about those comments for a while. They were hilariously bad. <laughs> you were pissed at me about that. I agree with the bulk of them. <laughs> My god. Mm. I thought that fucking game was going to end our friendship. I, I thought we were going to have a fun time playing it until Mr. Monkey Ranch over here started. Over, to... over some bullshit. It's just a game. It, it, was, it was some bullshit. You're exactly correct about that. I even said I'd do it again and not ever do that again. You wasted your chance. I emailed the developers. I said I'm never playing it again because of this guy. You're taking too strong of a stance there. They got you blacklisted within the industry. <laughs> you wonder why you're not getting review codes for anything. There I go, just man. got one today. You're bullshitting me. It's 5.59. Yeah, I just got quad shot, so we're in it for a long time. No, yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream and go nap forever, and I'm gonna host my wife. Wow, kicking Mathis off of the round table is more important than kicking Nick off of the NLSS. We're gonna get co-host free by the end of 2015. I promise. This is a this is cool outro music, though. I like this. Hey, uh, Nick, why don't you take a second to pimp your channel? Hey, do that. Hey, guys, I'm Rockley Smile. You can find me over on YouTube.com slash Rockley Smile Indie Impressions every day or every other day now, depending on if I've got a game to show you. And I've got a Catacomb Kid series that I've been posting pretty frequently as well. Just posted my first episode today playing as the poet, so there's a thing if you're interested in seeing me do that. I'm going to be trying to stream some Bloodborne tonight, so if you want to follow me on Twitter at, at Rockley Smile, you can see any new news about that whole development. I bought a capture card today that I have installed, and now I just need to install the software and such and make sure everything's up and running. Uh, barring any bad results, hopefully I'll be back within uh, probably a couple of hours at most. And of course, that is at twitch.tv slash rockleysmile for anyone interested. I'm going to finish this uh, regular Isaac run if anyone cares, but it probably won't take very long. So that's me. All right. Thanks for watching the Northern Line Live Super Show. It is every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. That means we will be back tomorrow. I imagine we'll probably play some Brawl Hollow tomorrow. I like that game. What do you think about? Well, let's just set the docket right now. You like Rebirth Catacomb Kids Brawl Hollow? Yeah, that's fine. That's a great docket as far as I'm concerned. I would love to. Um, you can buy my shirt if you're interested in buying my shirt. I'll put a, a little picture of it up here. This is like the last time it's going to be available. You got Limited an hour, eggs. 58 minutes, and 53 seconds to go. Uh, Pick it up if you're interested. It's $21.69. No hard feelings if you don't. But if you did, thank you very much. And thanks to everyone who supported the campaign and all the campaigns in the past as well. But for now, um, let me thank today's subscribers as well, according to Moobot. We got Nick Likes Bad Rats, Fist O Heavy, nope. Minecrafting with KMJ, Harvey Lee Oswald, X Sucrinix, Tom is Odd, Oathkeep, Nick's Parents, Vetro Vlad, Willie Van Kerr 69, 2S1K Carl, Mishy Pudding, Nyquil Lion, Likes to Rave Dave, <laughs> Blodger, The Greatest Man, Cool Guy 69, Let Me Donate You Farkin Egg, Miss Servitson, James K, Torcantos, 
WCCT Noam, Soda Bags, Zesty Wargasm, Hatchy Patchy, Jork Jump Skull, and Some Army Guy 95. Thank you guys very much for the subscription. Thanks for uh, watching the show. Thanks for making an effort to watch without ad block as well. The Twitch logo on the arm is not as cringy as the bald cartoon man in your pocket, if you're going to try to pull that logic. Mm -hmm. You can be proud of wearing the Twitch logo. It's a startup company that doing good things in the U.S. of A. Pocket Eggman is just a scumbag. Uh, one second here. Kate, what you playing? Do you think it's possible to stream from a different save file in Bloodborne? Yeah, I think so. Are you gonna play Bloodborne? Alright. I'm gonna host you in like 30 seconds. Kate's gonna be playing some Bloodborne. That's gonna be I was interesting. Gonna play that. <laughs> well, you, you, she is the only other person on Twitch playing Bloodborne right yeah, now. Yeah, that's so. true. Uh, you can go check uh, check her out. She's actually like never really played the Souls games at all, so that should be an interesting time. But for now, uh, thanks for watching the show, and we'll uh, we'll be back uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Later.